welcome to T Boys TV. We're back again with another stream. You know what I'm saying? We're back again. I had a day break yesterday. You know what I mean? Obviously, for work, I had to get up at half four. So I was shattered. As soon as I got back, I literally got into bed. You know what I mean? But we're back again. Obviously, episode 15 of the Hatters Show slash the Luton Show. Obviously, I'm with my dad again. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. You? Yeah, good. Obviously, we've got some new setups for the streams. You know what I mean? Obviously, when I went to um, Bournemouth game the other day, got some new loot and footballs up on display. And then, obviously, I finally got the away shirt. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Long time coming, you know what I mean? I only had to, you know, order it twice and they gave me the wrong one. But we move. We've got it now. You know what I mean? And, yeah, we are chilling. Obviously, in today's... Uh, Episode episode 15, we're going to be talking about the Bournemouth game, of course. What a game, you know what I mean? But we'll get into that. Uh, Kyoso, as he's been recalled today, uh, come out. And then, obviously, we'll preview the Reading game that is tomorrow. So, yeah, obviously, we'll start off, like I said, with um, the Bournemouth game. Now, obviously, I briefly touched on it. Uh, I'll get more into it, but I'll let you go first, Dad. Uh, what, a, what a crazy game. What a mental game. Obviously, it was on TV, so you was able to able to see it. Yeah. But um yeah, yeah, I'll just let you say your your thoughts, you know what I mean? It is it was a mental Yeah, game. it's one of the best, you know, the best home games we've had for a you know a while. Um yeah. the atmosphere was was kicking. They 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 bought, you know. A good atmosphere as well. Yeah, I'd agree um, with that. You know, before before the game, like or in the last show, we discussed if Luton are on point and they'll get sank out of the game. If they're not, you know, and they was on point, they were more than on point. Oh, yeah, so the mean. first the first half was mental. <laughs> they they just, just look. They are proven championship quality now, without without a doubt. Right, hundred percent. We're not getting relegated anytime soon. The only way is up, and um, it was just it was brilliant. Um, game management as well. In possession, creating a few chances. And then, you know, a couple of our players went down, you know, and they and they, come, they were both all right. Well, pretty, you know what I mean? So I think we sort of yeah. broke that up a little bit. Like, I, I wouldn't say it was properly, I don't know, a part of me thinks actually Nathan Jones has, has said that, you know. You see teams do it all the time anyway. We rarely do it. So I don't, I don't know. I don't think it was like... Uh, a coincidence that they both sort of went down with it close times to each other. But that was good. Yeah, what so, I will say, uh, just to quickly jump in, is I'm not too sure about the... I, I mean, you you might know about the Burke injury. I'm not too sure. Do you, do you know anything about that? Was it Burke? Uh, Burke went down second, but Campbell was first. But I've heard Campbell's is... He's come out today and said it's a hamstring, but he's hoping... Mm it won't mm. keep him out for long, basically. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Um, I'm not sure about Burke. I think Burke will probably be all right. Um, yeah. And, it, you know, I think he'll be all right. But, yeah, what a game. Um, obviously, the goal at the end, just that sums up Luton. That, that's that's my Luton town. That's my Luton town from since I was a kid. All these 3-2 wins, right? There's loads of them. Loads of them. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, the win against Arsenal in the Cup, the St. Johnson's Trophy win, and they've all been dramatic like that as well. Uh, Portsmouth, um, what else? Uh, West Ham, 94. I, I, was, I remember listening to it on the radio. Scott Oakes, mate. What a G. Yeah. Um, low, there's just so many. Um, and, you know, they've got a mention. And then I, I see another one that didn't get mentioned. For me, was when we beat Black. Uh, Blackburn 3-2 on the last day of the season to stay up to stay up yeah I, yeah there was no fans there but for me that was that was I remember watching that game and it was nail biting because I was thinking 
you know, if they equalise because someone else was winning, that's it. We're down. Mm. You know, um, and you know that 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 should be in there as well. Really, that's a pivotal. You know, because there was n- not necessarily fans. It wasn't a cup final. It wasn't this and that. But I think that should be recognised as well. But yeah, what a game! And Naismith, mate. What would we keep we could saying about this guy? Yeah, exactly. Like, it's, just, it's ridiculous how consistent he is. It's just getting more and more. This is what Nathan Jones does to players. Yeah. This is what he does. Um, it, if he don't get in the next Scot- Scotland squad, I'd be gobsmacked, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, no, no actually, you say anyway. that. We was, um, obviously, I do fan cams, uh, as you know. Um, well, for the first time the other day. And uh, Don Ram come on, shout out to himself. But we was talking, well, we talk about a lot of things, and that is something we actually talked about. We were saying, yeah. you know, the left side, like the left side of centre backs, yeah, I think he should be in. The actual left backs, I'm not so sure, but he should definitely be in. If he's going to play as a centre back, he should definitely be in. You know, he can play anywhere. He can play midfield, like, like and it's yeah, exactly. And his versatileness, I think that really helps him having a chance to get into the team. As well other players, yeah, other players are picking up now. Lou Campbell would come good. Every single, yeah. you know, it's very slowly. It took him slower than other players. And that goal as well, you know, he scored a cracker yeah. as well. Quality goal, quality goal. Yeah, forward, well, class well. goal, class goal. He's a strong lad as well. Like he don't, yeah. he ain't crazy. He's Scottish, as you know, as well. He, um, you know, he's played up up there in the cold in the winter, and he don't care about, you know. Yeah, mate, Blackpool way. I've said it. I've said it plenty of times on here and obviously on the vlog, shorts and t-shirt, you know, when it was windy, rain, yeah, exactly. you, know, you name it, mate. He's a um, fair play to him. Clark, some of his touches in that game as well, like another, another you know. Oh, no, and, one, and, no yeah. one was no one was terrible. You know, there was people that, you know, the two worst players, well, worst players, but they weren't bad for me was Ruddock and Bell, but they wasn't yeah. bad. Yeah, you know, Bell, Bell, as good as everyone else, it was. Bell, Bell was like that in the previous game, and that's why I, I said we'd start Fred, didn't it? But yeah, you know, yeah. still working. You know, Bell was still, you know, okay, you know, but you know, he lost his man for that one of the goals mm. a little bit, and you know, you can't do that against quality opposition, which is what they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Most, they're most they're most Premier League, they're team. Premier they're... League players. Not They're going up. They'll be in the Premier League next season. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. It's a Premier League team. That, and, yep. you know, we're showing that extra little bit of quality that I keep saying is what we need. It seems to be coming through now. Yeah. Um, and the thing is, the thing is as well, you know, our last two home games, like not Harrogate, league games, we could have got six points and they're against Fulham and Bournemouth. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I'm saying. We're at that level. Yeah, um, definitely. Playoffs, it's possible, but I just think that yeah, we've got the games in hand, but you know, you, I'd rather have the points. Yeah, because you basically got to win all them games in hand. That's what it's telling us. If you win all them games in hand, we'll be in the playoffs. We're not going to win all them games in that. No, no, not all of them. So, no, we'll, most, see. Most we'll see. We'll see. And if we sign, uh, you know, we could touch on that as well. But yeah, brilliant game, brilliant atmosphere, well deserved. <sighs> Just classic Luton Town. That's Luton Town. Yeah, and, and that's what it's all about. And yeah, they're, that they're person, the whoever it was who, who recorded it outside, that was a sick video. Like outside the ground, obviously, what I sent you. That was yeah. So the game in general, yeah, you know. Well, let's break it. Let's break it down in bits. So obviously, first half we was exceptional. Obviously, two new up uh, the young goal, Kelly. Yeah, they're, now they're, they're, uh, the thing more, I only found out the other day is he scored a known goal last time against us. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Which is uh, a crazy, you know, unlucky from from their perspective on him. But either way, I think Adebay would have scored personally. Yeah. You know. Um, and then obviously shortly after, Campbell gets a goal. 
And what a goal that was. Good run, great shot into the bottom left. Um, well, you know, obviously we scored as well um, again, no. but obviously Jerome was offside in the end. Um, one thing I will say, obviously I said it on the fan cams as well. All right, yeah, it was offside, but imagine if the Luton players crowded around the uh, the linesman like that. Yeah, I don't know. It's is what it is. It's you know you're going to see more of that because there's no VAR in the championship. Yeah, there so needs to be VAR. It gives that leeway because because you know if they are insisting on it, but you know that they haven't looked at it. Someone's actually got you know why has it took that long for yeah. them to then then go and go actually yeah come off of it, which it did, you know, mm-hmm. which is fair enough. You know, I had the benefit of seeing it on TV, so I yeah. you know I know. But how are they not making that, you know, if they've gone, yeah, it's come off of Adebar's foot, but I'm just going to let him celebrate for a fucking two minutes. And then, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, nah, it's true, it's true. It is a bit dodgy, like, unless they've looked at a screen somewhere. Because Nathan Jones was looking at it, because you can see it, like, on your, uh, you know, the in-house cameras or whatever. Um, yeah. But it's not part of the, you know, officiating. It's not, you know. So I'm not sure about that. It's a bit, it is a bit weird, to be honest. Yeah, like, and obviously from my perspective, because I was there, it did, like as you're saying there, it did seem a bit dodgy, you know, because obviously we saw them crowding around and and then yeah. you know taking long on a decision because they knew they knew as soon as they moved off. away, they then made the decision. And obviously, as I said, we was at well, I was at the ground, so I know. You know, from that, it looked a bit like, whoa. So, yeah. like, at first, it, it, it didn't. But obviously, when I showed and I was like, oh, well, you know, whatever. You know, we deserve a bit of luck. We'll have it. And then a minute, and then they just went, oh, actually, no, no, we're going to, you know. And then Campbell scored to, you know, shut them up again, basically. You know what I mean? Um, that more possession, <clears throat> but, you know. We, we're going to let teams do that. If we get promoted to the Premier League, we'll do exactly the same. It's not about possession, is it? No. Um, we create brilliant, obviously decent chances. Um, Shea weren't really tested. No, but the only thing I thought, I think he was tested with was the free, well, he wasn't a great one, but the free kick in the first half. Yeah, he's, he, yeah, but he done well to cushion that, really. Oh yeah, of course, of course. He had another great game, you know. Like I said mm. to you off off camera, and um, actually on the um, fan cams the other day, I said, you know, there was one time he he dropped the ball, and I was a bit like, whoa. But other than that, top performance again from him. So yeah, he couldn't do anything about the goal because they were point blank range. No, yeah, yeah, no, shot, he couldn't you know. Um, so yeah, and then I knew they'd come out in the second half, and you know, they you know, there's some stats that they'd scored two goals in, in 15 games, you know. Um, so they were, you know, they were bound to score. I knew they'd score. Um, you know, Jack oh, yeah. Stacey, one of our players, one of Nathan Jones, yeah, he done, he done great on that first goal, that run and yeah, across. That was, that was like, looking back at it. You know, at the time, I was like, oh, how have we just mm. let... Like, But he did do well to do that, so... Yeah. Point. So, we do his threat. You know, yeah. it doesn't surprise me. Um, but it was the way, you know, and then they were getting on top, getting on top. And it was like, oh, yeah. God, you know. And then, you know, we broke it down a bit. And then, you know, we thought, actually, we're not going to give up. We're not going to settle for a point. We're going to go for it. And, uh, <laughs> Oh my god, it was brilliant. It was mental, it was crazy. Obviously, you lot saw it on the vlog. Big out everyone that's watched the vlog. Vlog that's that's the best vlog yet, you know. That that, that, that'd be gutting support. It it would surprise me now if Paul would go out and hammer their next opponent. Oh, yeah, because that would have been proper gutting for them. Um, you know, but. But let, let's let's talk about the goal more. Let let me come on. We need to talk about that goal more. Like when I first saw it, obviously I said to you, like obviously it's the other side from where I was as well. Six seats though, where I was. But um, yeah, where I was, you know, I, I couldn't see it properly. I thought he just touched it down and then shot. I didn't realise he'd done that little skill as well. Oh my god! Until I looked back at it and it was yeah, he sort of bounced it off. You know. He- 
bounced it and then pulled it the other way. Yeah. You know, and he knew. And then it, even then, like, he still had, like, he had to place that shot because there was yeah. defenders in the way. We had two players on the line. You know, he could have blasted that. He banged it into the bottom left corner, mate. It was unbelievable. If, if someone had done that in the Premier League... Everyone would be it, talking about it. You know, so... Like a lot more. And, it, and the build-up to that, which kept going, kept firing it forward, mm. you know, the, and the passing's better. We've got better technical players. We just need to keep pushing that, you know, um, hiring more of them type of players. Yeah, get the Jeromes, get the, you know... Lansbury's get get them players from you know proven you know at certain levels because that just you know obviously you know you're not probably not going to survive in the Premier League with them players but it'll get you on a on a standing it'll attract more players to your club you know years ago because he's got that name I think when Jerome was you know banging in the goals now it was probably in the conference mate. I wouldn't have thought, oh yeah, one day he'll sign for us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Land, true, you, true, know, true. The, you know, these are the, you know, so keep doing that as well. Did, what, you know, but apparently Jerome is good around the dressing room as well. So, yeah. This is what I was trying to say before. You know, he's doing nothing on the pitch. But mm. yeah, he was brought in for that, but you need to do a bit of both, you know? Yeah, yeah Can't definitely. Just up like, talk to like, shout him out as well the other day. Yeah, look at my experience. Look at oh, I was I scored these goals and that goals and that, and then they'll look at him on the pitch and go, "Well, why aren't you doing it now?" Then you know. <laughs> yeah, and we've still got Cornick to come back as well. Yeah, it, it, you know, and we got him for Bournemouth. He'd, he'd have loved that. Mm. Imagine if he was playing as well. Jeez. Yeah, but um, yeah, obviously. Oh. You know, the only the rest of that game that we'll talk about is obviously the league table, what that meant. Um, obviously, we jumped up to 13th uh, with 32 points. Obviously, still got quite a few games in hand. And now, obviously, Bournemouth uh, second, two points behind Fulham, who are now top again. So, yeah, before we um, talk about the recall of Kyoso, we're going to read some comments. Uh, we've got quite a lot of comments. Big up everyone, like always. Uh, big up, Dan. Obviously, he's in the loot and group chat that I'm in. He says, yes, lad. Be like yourself. Uh, Kyle Stewart says, uh, not, nothing to do with loot and but he says, think Defoe will come back to Sunderland. Really? It's an interesting one. Have you seen We're anything like that? A bit off topic? I, I'm, I've seen some f- f- fans clamouring for us to get in, but you know, the wages just, will be quite a lot. No, nah, no, nah, we're probably he's a millionaire, mate. We could probably go pay you. You know what I mean? Like for one season or so, you know, uh, half a season or something like that. Try and get us into the playoffs, but mm, nah, not for me, mate. not for me. Um, Sunderland, yeah, possibly one more season. Mm. Yeah, uh, maybe. you know, but no, nah, not for us. Yeah, no, I'm the same as you. Oh, phone nearly went flying. A big old LTFC Don Ram, here he is. Hello, hello. That's what he says. A uh, big up Ravi as well, like always. Loyal on this. He says, big up the crew, T Boy and Dazzy D. Big uh, up. Come on, one like, we can do better. Yeah, come on, man, sort that out. If we still got one like, we need to sort that out. Um, Don says, Bournemouth coach was watching the game on Sky and listening through AirPods, so he had a camera angle, so that's when Parker and the Bournemouth coaching team pressured the line out and forced yeah. the Yeah, see what I mean? And, that, and that, that's what I was saying. That's what's going to happen because of VAR in the Premier League. Like, yeah, you're gonna push it, be able to push the boundaries a little bit more because they're like, well, I've got a screen here, I can, you know, but it's not entirely illegal, is it? Really? So I'm, I'm not sure. They shouldn't really be able to do that. Well, you know. No, I'd, yeah, I totally agree with that. Uh, big up Alex as well. He says, big up Cameron Jerome. Now going into it, I'm not gonna lie. Alex was a bit like, why is he signing? I was like, trust me. He'll do bits in this game because obviously I know we called for it, and yeah, after that he uh, 
he knew what I meant by that. But big up yourself, mate. I hope you will. But yeah, obviously that's the that's the end of the uh, Bournemouth reaction. You know what I mean? Crazy game. Uh, actually, before we move on, is that your favourite game from Luton this season? Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, of course. Because for me, me personally, I said it on the vlog, you know, that has to be. You know, the way the atmosphere is rocking, you know, against top of the league, last yeah. minute, you know, it's just got to be up there. You know what I mean? And it is the best for me, um, personally. The only thing that top that is if, is if that was against Watford. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah, 100%. Um, but, yeah, obviously, next bit of news uh, coming out today, uh, today, sorry, don't know what the hell I just said then. Uh, Kyoso, obviously, getting recalled from MK Dons. Yes. Nice, nice. Now, when I saw it, I was buzzing. Um, obviously, you know, Bree has, has done well for me. You know, more respect needs to be put in his name, but the main reason I'm gas is because it's another option. And Kyoso, you know, you look at a lot of when he played, uh, was it last season? We played United in the Cup. Yeah. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, he was great in that. You know, he I was a bit skeptical of him starting. And, you know, he done well. Even, even in a league, he had some good games. So, it's another option. And now, all the pressure's not on Bree. And that's what I like to see, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, where do you stand on it, Dad? Um, I'm pleased he's back. He's a good player. Yeah, um, definitely. He's, he's, he, you know, he's more attacking. I know Bree's like there with the crosses and that, but Kyoso's sort of, I don't know, I feel like he's, he, he, he gets goals more. Yeah. He gets in the box and that. He's a brilliant passer of the ball. He's tough. Um, defensively, I don't know, that's the only thing. I don't know if he's as good as Bree defensively. I haven't really seen that. Like, yeah, he, what I don't know, he's been say, tested. He, he, he ain't been tested enough. Like, yeah. Bree's played every single game. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, he, on that front. So, I'm not sure. But, yeah, like, I'm glad because if Bree gets injured, we'll, he, he throw him in. Yeah. You know, and see what he needs to prove himself. But, yeah, other than that, we wouldn't have had anyone. So, yeah, we needed to bring him back. Yeah, definitely. And um, what I was going to say uh, when you just talk about the defensive things, I have seen a lot of the way he, you know, when he goes forward, I've seen a lot of, you know, in League One and League Two, you can get away with it, you know, where other teams ex can get into spaces and stuff like that. The yeah. only thing I will say is he can leave, you know, he can exploit in that sort of area, you know, with the other team to come at us. So hopefully you know, Nathan and that help him work on that. But that's the only thing I will say. But other than that, as you said, going forward, brilliant. Um, you know, and he's very confident, isn't he? For a young, young player, he's yeah, very yeah, confident. Definitely. And that's that's what you like to see. So And the yeah. thing is a little known well, maybe not a little known fact, but he's actually um Pelly Ruddock's cousin as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually knew that one. Yeah, <coughs> that's true. So there so, you go. You know. Uh, imagine them two playing together. That'd be interesting. Yeah, that will be interesting. Especially, hopefully, that'll be one of them. You know, where it it motivates Ruddock to do even better. Yeah, 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 exactly what I was thinking. Both of them, you know, bounce yeah. off each other. You know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Very but... interesting. He's he's a good player. He's definitely a good player. He's got a lot of potential. If 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 you know if he can defend as well, then. Oh, yeah, what a player we've got on, on our hands. Yeah, yeah. Strong as well. Strong. Yeah. yeah. Another player that's, I know this might sound a bit stupid, people might laugh, but another player that's good at throw-ins. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, yeah, there's another. Yeah, great, great. It's just the, as we said, for me, uh, it's just the defensive side of things. <laughs> Hopefully we can work on that. And yeah, as we said, it'd be a great option along with Bree and, it's an, another option we needed, you know what I mean? So it's one there's of them. also There's also other rumours that we were going to sign. Um, oh, yeah, you wanted to talk about this, didn't you? Chris, yeah. Christian Morgan, who I think he is a good goalkeeper. And, you know, if Shea was to leave, then Morgan's as good, if not better. Um, but apparently his wages were quite high, which, you know, they are. He's, you know, he's been on like he's a Brighton player, isn't he? So, 
Yeah. Uh, and Ipswich have got money to burn a little bit. So part of it that he's going there instead will be well, you know, because the wages that he was on probably were more than what Sluger's on. So, you know, yeah. they're, they're not going to have that, are they? You know, basically, if he come in instantly, it'd be a third choice keeper, wouldn't he? So as a third choice keeper on more than top keeper. So, yeah, true, true, true. Probably a bit of that as well. You know, because then Sluger will go, well, you know, if you or you want me to sign another contract, I want 16 grand or 15 grand a week. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. It's a shame because he is, you know, but I might be wrong, but that's what I've heard. He's going to Ipswich. But if they don't get promoted, he's going to be stuck in League One again. Uh, stay yeah. in his career. Do you know what I mean? Take a wage drop. And, and, you know, fight your way into the Luton team, the champ up and coming team. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, and then there was a player we took on, lo- uh, was it on trial? I don't know how that's going, you know. Remember that there was a player from a Northern Premier League team or something like that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what's happening. Um, I think we yeah, played true, tonight. Actually. I think there was a, uh, <clears throat> a Luton 11 playing Dunstable tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You know, we'll in this cup we'll, cup competition or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Fed's Cup yeah. or something, can it? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. See what happens in that. Um, see if, you know, because I haven't heard anything about this guy. Um, but yeah, we, we, you know, remember we signed that Tottenham midfielder. Mm. He ain't even featured. He, he won't be able to get in the team, but apparently he's, he's decent, you know. Elliot Thorpe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, but we ain't really going to have an opportunity to play him, I don't think, this season. Yeah, no, I totally yeah. agree with that, to be fair. I just don't think, even against Cambridge, I don't know, we we want to progress in the Cup, and I reckon that we, we might actually, if we get lucky with the draw, I reckon we might actually do surprise a lot of people, you know. Yeah. Yeah, no, that'd be mad. That'd be mad. But, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? We'll we'll move on to Reading unless there's anything else you want to say. No, that's that's cool. That's cool. All right, cool. So obviously tomorrow, yeah, we got Reading away. Now, obviously, um, you know, Reading not, not having a, the greatest of times at this current moment in time. Obviously, FA Cup got knocked out to Kidderminster. Um, you know, obviously lose a heavy defeat to Fulham as well. A 7 0 defeat at home. Um, and then obviously their last game, Middlesbrough, losing 2 1 in that as well. So, you know, they're winless in in 2022. So, yeah, it's one of them. Obviously, um, you know, I don't think, I don't think, can Andy Carroll play in this game? I don't think he can. You know what I mean? Obviously, I think he already wants to wants to leave or something like that, which is pretty crazy. He's had speculation uh, of Premier League clubs again. Really? So, yeah, it's a it's an interesting one. What did you go say? Sorry. Well, how long was he on loan to him? Uh, I think it was a season. I might be wrong, but mm, I don't know. If he did go to a Premier League club, it'd probably I reckon it'd be Burnley or something. Burnley, there's a heavy speculation today. Apparently, West Ham are interested in him again. Ah, which is, that's a load of crap. Which is uh, a <laughs> that's a load of crap, mate. Which oh. is it? Which is an oh, interesting man. one, but I. If I was I, Burnley, I, I mean, they do need a striker, but I don't think Andy Carroll is the guy. Nah, I think they need another chance to prove himself. Like, I feel sorry for him. I don't know what's happened. I mean, I his goal on his day for Reading, that was a great goal, that was. Yeah, he's, he obviously got the quality, but it's just not consistent. It's, mm. it's ridiculously inconsistent. It's a fucking joke. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's if it's him. Like, he's not that motivated. I, I don't get it. Yeah. You know? Um, um, whatever. Even if he was playing, Bradley it would, you know, probably not barge him in the back, it'd be off. Yeah, we just gotta, you know, watch out from them set pieces. You know what he's like in the air. Let's be serious. Uh, I think they're and the way we've been defending set well, I know we didn't concede for many the other day, but they're going down the same route as Derby, 
mate. They keep signing. Well, why signing them players? They're on high wages and that. Yeah, like, true, true. Just desperate. Oh yeah, I'll get Danny Drinkmore. I'll get I'll get Andy Cut. Yeah, no, scores, man. Like you could think, no, nah, they're 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 fucked. Um, they're they're the, you know they're letting loads of goals recently. Their form's terrible. Their manager don't know what he's doing. Apparently, yeah. they sit back a lot. We, we we should be annihilating them. Like the way we are, we are, like I said, we've proven now. Yeah, it's the championship, but come on, like we should be beat. We should be beating them. It's game in hand. You know, players are going to be up for it after that game. They're going to think, yeah, ready. You know, not to underestimate them totally, but they they know that they've got the quality to beat them, and that's all they need. Just switch it on, and we should be beating them. Even if it's one nil, like we shouldn't be losing. Definitely not. Yeah, no, I I have to agree. You know what I mean? I don't. I was just uh, Reading and not and like ever since Luton have been in the I just don't rate Reading. Like there was that one time, you know, they beat us quite heavily. But other than that, you know, to me they're just they're a team that I like. I just I don't really rate them. No disrespect, but I just. Uh, like, even before all this, I just, I don't know, there's something. But, yeah, obviously, uh, the stand-ins, obviously, as I said earlier, with 13th, uh, uh, they are just above the relegation zone um, by three points. So, yeah, they are in that battle. And the way things are going, boy, they could potentially be, be relegated. But, like we said, obviously, midweek um, at their ground, I don't even know what their ground's called now, you know what I mean? They change it. I don't even know what they've changed it to, but yeah, uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll go into the lineups that we would do or, or we would play, shall I say. So, yeah, bear with me while I just get that up. And, uh, and uh, yeah, we'll obviously go through the lineup. So, what we'll start off with, what I never start off with because I usually forget and do it halfway through formation. Are we going for the five three two? I think it's three five. Yeah, that's right. But yeah, I know. Uh, what you mean. Yeah, three centre backs, two wing backs. Yeah, like this, like it. Oh, can you see it? Yeah, like that. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. Right, goalkeeper Shay. You know, mm-hmm. can't drop him. Simple as. Um. So yeah, that was you know. Simple. Uh, centre backs. Are we going? Obviously, Bradley. Uh, oh yeah, shout out Bradley as well. Did you see on his interview? He was like mumbling the Watford get battered everywhere they go chant. <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't seen it, but I've heard about it. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's brilliant. That was brilliant. Um, yeah. So obviously, Bradley. Do you re- obviously, Lockie. I was still. Well, I'm still not sure about. I'm not sure if you are. It'll be Naismith, Bradley and Burke. You reckon Burke will be all right? Yeah. And if he's not, it'll be Lockyer. But, you know, I, I think Burke is all right, yeah. Okay. Um, there he is. There he is. Now, Dooney, mate. Right, where where's the thing for Bradley? Um, and then obviously midfield, Campbell, one of them for me. Well, he's injured, so I don't think he's gonna. You know. Oh yeah, think, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they might rest him. I think it'll be Berry in the centre. Yeah, actually thinking about, it, I think it's gonna be. You know, players like Berry, where obviously he's just come back. I think you're going to see, you see, not a lot, but a little bit of rotation. I think it's going to be one yeah. of them. Yeah, definitely. So, where are you putting Berry? Like on the left side, I'm guessing? In the middle? Uh, no, in the middle. In the middle, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, and we'll do wing backs. We'll do wing backs uh, after I've put Berry in. Uh, right, there it is. So, wing backs, um, Bell and um, oh, maybe Kyoso. Nah. 
No, no, I don't think he'll start. I don't think. Uh, I've got a feeling that it, potentially that could be the case. You know, because Bree, I think Bre- he might just rest Bree. He might just rest him. Yeah. But I'm going to go with Bree. Okay. Okay, yeah. And then uh, you're going Bell on the left side, yeah? Nah, I'm going to go with I'm going to no. put Fred. Fred. Uh, yeah, I feel actually, if you yeah. go more attacking, yeah, I do. I feel like we can just we can go more attacking. Yeah, okay. Um, and then obviously the other centre mids on the left and right side. So who would you say? I mean, let me try to think. Lansbury? I think Ruddock. I think, nah, I, think Ruddock. I think I think Ruddock can start, but. Yeah, no, obviously there's two more. There's two more in there. So, who would you say? Ruddock and... I'd be banging Clark back in there. Yeah? Yeah. See, as you can tell, big fan of Clark. Where is he? There he is. Um, And then, obviously, Ruddock, you said. Yeah. There he is. Uh, two up top. Ooh. Adebayo and Jerome, I guess. Yeah. I think, yeah, obviously, it's going to be Adebayo. Um, Jerome, I think, um, deserves it. So, he might as well throw him up there. So, he, he, another championship game away. See what he can do. Uh, yeah. As we're talking about strikers, actually, shout out Musquay today. I watched a bit of that in the uh, AFCON. He got an assist. Did he? So, uh, yeah, shout. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, shout him out. Um, That's doing good. For in my there, opinion, mate. he started the first goal they got as well because he done a really nice turn against uh, yeah. Naby Keita's team as well. By the way, let's get that in. But I think Keita scored an absolute banger at the end. I didn't watch near the end. I watched the, the bit of the second half and that. Um, but yeah, he got he got an assist. Um, and yeah, as I said on the first goal, he done a turn. You know, played it forward. They got a corner from it, and then someone scored from the corner. But you know, I think he'd have got it if the other person didn't. So yeah, shout out to himself. And yeah, he actually started as well. His first start for him. So, so yeah. But that's the lineup we'd go for. Uh, so obviously, Shane goal uh, with a five-three-two formation. To Shane goal uh, back three. Naismith on the left side. Bradley in the middle. Burke on the right side, uh, wing backs on the left, Fred on the right, Bree, uh, midfield of Ruddock on the left side, Clark on the right side, Berry through the middle, and up top, Adebayo and Jerome. So that is the lineup we would go for uh, in this Reading game. Now it's that time. Oh, what's happened here? Uh, don't know why the Reading thing disappeared, but it's that time. Obviously, score predictions. Now, we obviously said we are expecting a win. So, obviously, it's going to be a win as a prediction. But, yeah, what do you think the score is going to be, Dad? Um, I expect us to keep a clean sheet. And just, I think they'll, they'll, they'll it's going to be scrappy. I think I've got a feeling it's going to be scrappy. Mm. Um, but I think we'll, we'll, we'll edge it. I'm going to go 2-0. Uh, 2-0? Two nil. Two nil? Yeah, I actually mm-hmm. agree. I was thinking about it before before we went live and stuff. I think, yeah, I think it's going to be, you know, a lot of Luton fans will be going into it, you know, expecting a high high game in, oh, you know, high scoring game. Like, I can see why, you know, we just had a very good win against Bournemouth, top of the league, and Reading and not doing great. And, you know, we are on form at the moment, but, yeah, I totally agree with you. I think it is going to be scrappy. You know, we're away from home as well. We have to remember that. Um, you know, it's... Yeah, I, I totally agree. And, yeah, <laughs> you know, that's all I can really, really say, to be quite honest with you. But, yeah, is there anything else you want to say before we close this off? Uh, no, nah, that's it, mate. Cool, cool. But, yeah, obviously, that is episode 15 of the Hatter Show, the Luton Show, whatever you know it as, done. I mean, so obviously we touched on the Bournemouth game, um, the Kyoso being recalled, and then obviously 
this game. So, yeah, um, tomorrow I'm I'm not too sure if I am going. I don't think I will be going to the game, but I'll be doing a watch long. Either way, um, you know, I'll be doing a watch long or going. So you're going to see me reacting to it in some sort of way. And the only thing is, if I do do a watch long, I'll have to be on job watching it because obviously it's going to be on the red button and there's no highlights and replays and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's literally only the scoreboard. So it's one of them. I can't even rewind if I missed it or anything like that. So, so yeah, but we'll have to wait and see. You'll find out tomorrow. Obviously, if it's a watch along, I'll schedule it. But I'll try to let you lot know on my socials. So, obviously, as you can see there, T-Boys TV. Well, it's up there. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's up in that top right. But, yeah, obviously, I'll, I'll post it on there at some point. Um, but, yeah, there, there should – well, there'll be content before that anyway as well. So, I'll let you lot know on there as well. But, um Ravi comes in with a question. We might as well answer this, to be fair, before we wrap up. Um, T-Boy, how can you stop Red in attack? Now, Dad, I'll let you go first with that. Don't think they've got much of an attack, have they, really? <laughs> I mean, right. I was, like, like, yeah, I was thinking that, you know. For me, their only attack is is Andy Carroll, you know what I mean? But that all you've got to do is, well, not all you've got to do, because we're good at defending, but, you know, well, we're good at defending from from stuff that are not always set pieces. You know what I mean? We just got to, you know, be on him. You know what I mean? Even if we have to have two people on him, you know, for me, that's their only their only attack, really, playing it into him. Because he is good in the air. Let, let's be serious now. But, you know, other than that, I'm not really, I'm not really too phased, to be quite honest here. Um, I think our attacks will cancel out their attack, even if they suddenly come good, you know? So I'm not, I'm not even I'm not even bothered with that. They're, they're in a downward spiral. We, the, our mentality is totally different from theirs. Mm. If we score early, they're just going to think, "Oh God." Yeah, this if we is score it. early, then, then we could we we, we might hammer them. <clears throat> but they're going to make it scrappy. They're in a relegation dogfight. I don't care. Like, no, definitely. I said they know. Early, you know, they they could fall into that thing. They're only three points ahead, man. That, you know, there's no way that they're expecting to beat us. No. No. And when we actually, uh, let me discuss it. When we was meant to play them originally, um, we'd have beaten they, them uh, as well. That was meant to be their most sold out game. Yeah. Um, and now there's was... hardly any fans there. Yeah. Right. yeah. They're just going to make it scrappy and time waste and foul and this, that. And that. I, can, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I totally agree. Frustrate. And also, also, like I said, away from home, you know, it's, it's gonna be. I mean, need, our away record needs to be better as well. So, we, mm. you, know, you know, this is another sort of milestone thing. Beat teams yeah. that are on a downward spiral in the championship. Don't don't be drawing against them. You know, don't be, you know, have that brilliant win and then fucking lose to Reading. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, no, it's, it is yeah. true, though. It is true. Show, show, show that we've got that next step. We should be beating them. We should be yeah. beating them. Just beat them. Yep, totally agree. Um, you know, at the start of the season, when we used to say, oh, we should be beating teams, uh, you know, we, we used to lose and it just used to be shocking. But ever since we said it with, I can't remember, it was a couple of weeks ago. We actually did. Oh, yeah, Harrogate, that was it. So, um mm. Yeah, hopefully, you know, that continues. And as we said, you know, Reading, nothing's really positive out of their club at the moment. So I'm expecting a win. We're both expecting a win, like we said. Um, and yeah, you know, we were on decent form as well. So, you know, it's it's one of them. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, but Ravi says, uh, smash up the likes and subscribe to this quality channel and sub to T-Boys Extra. Big things are gone. That was probably the worst accent I've ever done. But yeah, no, definitely. Um, please do subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, as I said earlier, big up everyone that's checked the vlog out. That's crazy that it's over 800 views. And yeah, it's got like 42 likes. It's never, you know, I've never had a vlog that's done that well. You know what I mean? So thank everyone for that. And uh, yeah, got quite a lot of subs, quite a lot of subs from it. So 
thank you again. But yeah, please do subscribe if you haven't already and smash a like on this stream. And as Ravi said there, subscribe to T-Boys Extra as well, where I post clips and highlights. And um, excuse me, Dad, where can they find your music that you do? Uh, Mixed Club, Dazzy D. If you like the old drum bass, Jungle, Liquid DMB, check it out. Yeah, definitely do check that out, people. Link to that is in the description. Um, <laughs> Ravi says, Lol T doing his best Bob Marley impressions. <laughs> nah, mate, that accent was uh, well. I just said it normally, but yeah, it was uh, it was way off. But um, yeah, it was one of them. But yeah, we we're gonna wrap it up here, like I said. Um, so thank you again to everyone that come on. Been a decent, decent stream uh, once again, and I'll be back tomorrow. You know what I mean? I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully with a stream before. All I say is a stream before the. Uh, Luton game if I don't go to it. As I said, I don't think I am going. So, yeah, there'll be a watch log. But as I said, I'll be more concentrated on the watch long tomorrow as, you know, there's no highlights and it's on the red button. Um, so, yeah, that's it. We're out. Um, Ravi says, big up. Big up yourself, mate. Cheers for coming on and asking the questions like usual. Um, <laughs> big up. Big up Hayden. He's literally come on before we're about to wrap up. Um, I'm not too sure if this is Hayden, the Leicester fan or a new person, uh, whoever you are. Hello. And thank you for coming over. Um, but yeah, we're literally about to wrap up now. So as I said, I'll be back tomorrow. Dad, is there anything else you want to say before we wrap up? That's it. Big up yourselves. Yeah, definitely big up yourselves. And obviously my dad will see you lot next week, probably. Um, actually, have we got any games next week, uh, midweek? Yeah, we do actually. Uh, uh, we've got Bristol City at home. So, yeah, uh, we'll see. We'll see if a look and show what day. Obviously, we've got Sheffield. Um, oh, actually, Sheffield United as well. So, yeah, we'll probably be be uh, back at some point doing that actually as well. To be fair, if yeah, we'll be back with that at some point. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll probably Wednesday or Thursday or something like that. Because I forgot about that. Uh, Hayden says it is the Leicester fan. Yeah, big up yourself, mate. Hope you're well. Um, but yeah, we're off now. So take care. Actually, we'll end it on this. We'll end it on this lovely thing. Wherever it's gone. Right, there we go. We'll end it on this. Take care and peace.